Virgo. Welcome to House of Virgo. This is going to be your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This channel is strictly for Virgos, um, but if you're a cross watcher, you are welcome to watch the video. Um, all right, you guys, let's get into your reading. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on this video. And do remember to hit the notification bell. And please remember to enable that on your phone. I upload every day at the same time. So you'll, if you're a subscriber, you won't need a notification. <laughs> Just be here. All right, let's take a look here, Virgo. I'm going to take a look at your person, past... Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, present is the Two of Cups, the Devil, Six of Cups, Eight of Cups in the future, the Hermit, and the Four of Pentacles. All right. Let's get the love messages here. All right, we'll take a look at the past here. Love messages for Virgo. Past position, Virgo's person. We do have Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Virgo here on the board. Okay, let's see. All right, the past. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, this person from your past, definitely your soulmate. But there were some blockages, maybe religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you guys had some differing views, perhaps, in the past of how things should be. Um, someone might been might have been very um, rigid in their beliefs. Another might have been very lackadaisical in their beliefs. But... Soulmates come to teach, so there was definitely an energy of uh, soulmate. I feel like your person in the past made some kind of an offer to you to induce some kind of change, um, perhaps to come into spiritual union with you, okay? And that hierophant is like traditional conventional rules and expectations, okay? So... Let's take a look at this page of pentacles here. I feel like your person in the past, um, now the past could be yesterday, past could be 10 minutes ago, but I feel like either there was some kind of communication that they were willing to follow your lead as far as your, whatever your spiritual and moral beliefs were, okay? Um, they might also have said that money was more important to them than that, okay? Um, I feel like your person struggled maybe with, um, because the Wheel of Fortune is here, so there could have been like, could have been gambling or something for some of you, um, but may have just been very focused on money and all their ideas and plans for money. And you, Virgo, might have been a bit more religious or had, you know, took some parts of your upbringing um, that molded your character. And I feel like you and your person were different in a lot of ways. I'm, I'm just hearing opposites attracted or opposites attract. There is an attraction you guys are opposite. There's, there's, op there's differences between you. It could be, um, religious. It could be geographical. It could be ethnic. It could be, um, what other differences would there be? Cultural differences. Let's take a look at the page of pentacles. Okay. The shadow side. That's, that's devil energy again. Your person was struggling with some kind of an addiction in the, in the past. Um, uh, for some, like I said, it could be gambling. But the devil card is greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Um, and they may have been seeking, trying to make a, you know, 
a change in their life to go and get some spiritual help of some sort. Um, but that shadow side, that devil energy, it's tough, you know, because it, it just kind of is like there might have been abuse or just this person might have just been involved in like casual sexual affairs um, and it's just kind of really coming to turn or in the past maybe recognized it or maybe you said something to them Let's see what the wheel of fortune is yep ten of swords okay surrender now some of you might not even know that this is going on um, or this was happening with your person but this gives me a sense of whatever they're you know, when it just feels like they were chasing waterfalls and those waterfalls proved to not be sustainable. And so they may have had these great ideas and great plans for things that they wanted. Like, it's kind of like living in an alter reality. Like, you know, let me, let me chase these figments of my imagination. And, you know, it's, it's okay to have hope and high goals and desires and dreams, but it takes work to actually achieve those things. Um, your person just kind of maybe was chasing unicorns, um, trying to see if they're real and constantly chasing them. And I feel like they've kind of hit rock bottom. And in the past, they've hit rock bottom and there was a turning point towards the Hierophant and justice and making things right. They're trying to make things right with you or just within themselves. Okay. Um, person, I just, that, that shadow card, that devil energy, 100% is the shadow side. That's darkness. Um, your person was like struggling with their own darkness, their moods, their, um, you know, they had all these, like they had plans or they were expressed to you their plans or ideas, but that dark side kept pulling them under. Okay. So let's take a look at the present here. Reconciliation, sitting right next to the reconciliation card. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Virgo. On a honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you guys might be connecting during the holiday. Uh, what holiday? Let's see. I don't know. Um, or just enjoying time together and feeling like you're on a honeymoon. Now, the Two of Cups is here. So this feels to me like restarting of a journey between two people. This is meeting of the minds. This is coming back together. And the Six of Cups is coming back together. Okay. Um, your person is definitely like attached at the hip to you. Um, they have not let you go. Okay. Um, let's take a look at so the two of cups it's a very healing energy between the two of you or has the potential to be very healing two of cups energy is you know always romantic love partnership that kind of thing and the two of swords just came out here in the reverse so this gives me a sense of like a compromise is being made okay the devil is still here though let's take a look and see the devil's at the center of the reading. A lot of it is there is a very strong lusty thing that you both have towards one another. Or at least this person has towards you. And the king of wands is here. Fire energy. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or someone with uh, Mars placement. So I want to get another card for the king of wands. There is a fire sign who's like can't stop with you or Capricorn it's just for those of you who that resonates for there's some type of like this person wow they're waiting for the opportunity to connect with you they truly are in this place now of making this compromise um, and making these changes in their life um, maybe they get a new a, a job like a good job where they just get more structured in their life um, but I do feel like they, they, they come in here because they want to invest in you and invest in your relationship. And the Six of Cups is they come in with this sincere offer. You know, it's really beautiful. 
Yeah, this person, it's about innocence and, you know, reuniting with you. Could be an apology. They might bring you some flowers. Um, there's nostalgia here, and this person thinks about the history that you've had together. <laughs> Ace of Cups, yep. A new beginning, a new beautiful, blessed beginning. Might even be a proposal of marriage, I'm telling you. And that's why the honeymoon card is here. So I feel like your person gets themselves together. You know, in the past, um, they really reached this place where they're just kind of like it balanced now. Um, they get that hierophant energy, which is very structured and um, moral and justice again that's libra and energy there is something here with like a win-win solution a win for them and a win for you and the truth comes out okay they might even be or in the past you may not know that your person was getting some spiritual help maybe some counseling um, because a higher font can represent a teacher or someone that gives good counsel so let's take a look at the future going forward. Now the future can be at any time. Okay. Let's see. What is a love message for for Virgo and Virgo's person for the future? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like this person wanted to marry you. Release your ex. Okay. So your person had an ex. May not be someone that they were currently dealing with. If they were currently you know, or in the past, or there, or currently there was someone else, this person going forward, I feel like is like, finally releases that person. But it, for a lot of you, I feel like it's more energetically like this, they may not have been with their ex, while you were continue or connected to them. But the energy of their ex was still alive, like a, like a ghost, like a phantom that was haunting them. And that, and your person might have been still attached to that energy in the past. Um, and it affected them and they found other ways to deal with that by either through sex or drugs or work or gambling or whatever those other things are that can be abused, you know. Um, they may also, if they were waiting for a divorce in the past, um, I feel like it went through, okay? A legal kind of thing happened. So the future energy is, yeah, this person walks away from all that stuff that they were involved in, okay? Yep. Pushing back. They had to fight. This person going forward has to fight to get away from that phantom of the ex going forward. It's not going to be an overnight thing. Um, this person is going through like these stages of recovery. Um, I feel like they're coming to terms and paying attention and seeing that the reason why they were chasing those unicorns and waterfalls is because they weren't, they hadn't healed from the ex, an ex situation or someone that may have hurt them in their past. Okay. So instead of trying to heal from that, your person was just covering, band-aiding it with temporary things. And I feel like since the eight of cups is a temporary separation a retreat i feel like your person is now fighting will you know going forward is fighting will be fighting that energy off like they're not running away they won't be running away because i feel like your person they hid or they ran away so here's the the hermit this person now whew, they're getting some very serious spiritual illumination and clarity um, the hermit's very wise. Um, this person now is on a quest for truth. What made them do this? You know, I feel like this person is showing me that like, it is this relationship, this, this person is worth waiting for, but it really just depends on how patient you want to be. Okay. Um, 
I don't see them running away. I do feel like your person wants to try to have a new start with you and reconcile your relationship. But I also feel like, you know, them coming in is not for you to have high expectation that like a black and white situation. I don't feel like your person as just as a human being is going to be able to switch it on and, or switch it off and switch it on again super quick. I feel like they miss you and they know who you are and they when the opportunity presents, they don't want to be without you, but they need you to be patient as they go through um, this like healing thing or releasing, you know, stuff, you know, releasing the ex. For some, it is an ex, but for others, it's just this person it's like coming to this place where they're clearing out energy, bad energy, painful energy. Um, now, she's holding a letter, like something that she read. So maybe your person read something and it's helped to help them to clear their energy. Let's take a look at this hermit. Okay, there you go. Karma. This is like judgment. Um, this person like seeking more and more clarity and coming to a final decision, um, having a wake up call, you know, about themselves. It almost feels like a deep psychological exploration going on with this person. There's the eight of cups again, see? And the majority of it is that they're finding out why it is they run away when things get serious. <sighs> They run because they can't, they avoid it because they have a lot of fear. Um, and they spend what, you know, they find themselves that the wake up call is like, they, they, they can't deal. And then they find themselves just winding up alone. And they're waking up to this here going forward. Like they don't want to be alone. They want to hold on to the things they want to stop running away, but they're getting some kind of healing. And, and it's almost like, I just hear them. It's almost like waking up and saying, wow, I do do that. Wow, I do wind up just staying single all the time. And they, I feel like they want to hold on to you, you know, and it's like, I just feel like it feels nice for you. It just feels nice. I feel like your person was like running, they were projecting onto you their, this negative energy that either an ex put on them or whomever, maybe there was childhood traumas and things like that. Let's take a look here. See what their love messages are for you. I have so many cards here in my hand, so trying to shuffle these is like, I just think I have too many. Okay, I'm sorry. Firm boundaries are needed now. That was in yesterday's reading. I will wait for a sign from you. Children are important to this partnership, so that does play a role. Children, detach with love to clearly see the truth, okay? And I feel like your person is doing that. They're still on this journey of change. Change does not happen overnight. It takes effort. And it takes patience by others. Fate. This is a destined partnership, Virgo. I do feel like this connection was meant to be. Um, it's just... It's like self-discovery, discovery of each other. You know, there's one thing this person knows that when they look at you, they see the love in, in themselves. You remind them of the love that they have or once had for themselves, like that true love. It's a very healing energy. I don't know where that came from. I fear that you will reject me. This person has a lot of fears. I want to trust you, but it's really hard for them. I want to tell you so many things. Wow, Virgo. I was careless with you. We are more alike than I admit. Oh, I just said that with this two of cups. 
they're really seeing the mutuality, the similarity between the two of you. I know I made a mistake. Hmm. Well, only you, Virgo, know what their mistake was. You know, that devil energy could be about jealousy, envy as well. Um, this person was just trapped in sin. Seven deadly sins, gluttony. What is it? Sloth. I forget them all. I pretend that I don't care. That was yesterday, too. I wish you would come back. But Virgo, you're kind of like, oh, I don't know. You're, you're kind of like, you want this person to get their healing and stuff. You care so much about them. But you know that like a drowning man will grasp its straws. And if you are not strong, they'll pull you under too. And I feel like you're kind of protecting yourself right now. I can still see you standing there. I don't know what that means. But wherever you were standing in front of this person, they can still see you there in that particular place. We're going to get one more. I hope you're happy for me. <laughs> well, I feel like Virgo, you want them to be happy, but they are different now. And I feel like they're going to come in and, and show you that they are different. They want to show it to you. They want to, sh they want to prove it to you. I feel like this person really just wants your love and they want to love you in return. Um, and I do feel like there will be some kind of reconciliation, but I feel like you just, you know, you can do whatever you want. Like I said, in, in my readings and most tarot card readings, these are for guidance and just a little insight, but it's totally up to you. If you want to wait for this person, release your own ex and just stay on your own and wait for them to come, you can do that. But if that's not something you want to do, and you just want to move on and release this person and then wait for love to come in, you know, to attract it, you know, it's totally up to you. Um, but I'm going to leave your reading there, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.